Star Wars Key Characters, Part 1. In the Star Wars universe, there are a few characters that deserve more screen time. Or screen time, period. Some were already characters added to the movies, and were sadly not shown more. Oh, yeah, definitely. Some characters were shown, but did not get enough development. Heck no, they did not. Lastly, some were not even shown in the movies, but, but rather were known as just a weapon and not ten. Exactly. Like, I guess Darth Vader was dead, but I'll try. The point I am making here is, I believe there are characters that deserve more time behind the big screen, and if I direct it, or Agent Markle, as an I directed it, I would make sure they get what the fans want, not just what Disney wants. Exactly. All Disney cares about is their characters. talk about the characters from the first five episodes. Rey, mm -hmm. Kylo Ren, Thank Finn, you. Luke Skywalker, and oh. Poe. But what about some of the minor characters that hasn't really been mentioned much or are not mentioned at all? Like, yeah. There are five characters in this video, so this, this might be a two-part because I might have to look for five yep. more. Let's get to it. Number one, Captain Phasma. Based on what we learned yeah. from Captain Phasma, she's like the head... She was probably one of the only cool characters, characters in this Disney trilogy who should have actually hey, had more development. Hey, Arc Sweet Fighter. Fire! <laughs> Shut you down, Poe Dameron. You guys get the hints. It is obvious that Stormtrooper shootings have been a little bit more accurate than the originals. Because, as you guys know, they are not good during the days of the Empire. But the days of the First Order, they became more accurate. Despite their helmets looking like a duck. <laughs> But on a serious note, though, Captain Vaz was probably the main reason why Stormtroopers are basically more active and more accurate. However, yeah. it doesn't mean all of them can make it. Finn is an exception of a Stormtrooper that actually didn't make it because he couldn't take it anymore and he didn't want to be around the First Order anymore. Despite her attempts to help him, he eventually decided to leave. So you can't really blame Finn for leaving. Yeah. Now, the next thing I wanted to bring up is number two. Number two, Ben Skywalker. That's right, we're putting Luke's son into the equation. As I already briefly mentioned him in my Luke Skywalker video, Ben Skywalker was trained in the Jedi Academy until his cousin, Jason, basically destroyed it, and he had to flee. Disconnected from the Force so he could survive and also remain hidden. As long as you don't connect to the Force, you should be alright. As long as you don't have a connection to someone else, which is basically his cousin. So it makes it very hard for Ben to kind of disconnect from his cousin. But after a while, he reconnects with the Force to save the Resistance and eventually reconnect with his father. This was a very important point because now Ben will become one of the stronger Jedi along with Rey and Finn. Ah, you'll find out in that video. So basically, Ben will become one of the stronger Jedi of his time. Basically, yeah. as he grows, he has a connection with his father and his mother, Mara Jade, who I will talk about in a bit. So basically, it's safe to say that Ben Skywalker is the, indeed, last Skywalker. Number three, Mara Jade. No. For those that are familiar... With the Legends, or former known Stan Universe, THANKS DISNEY! <laughs> Basically, Mara J was a close advisor to the Emperor, or Chief Palpatine, 
Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious, you guys get the hint. And before he died, he basically wanted her to kill Luke Skywalker, and she swore she would kill him, but after a while, she changed her tune about him, and eventually, love broke through. Can't sing the song, because got me right, got me right. Okay. <laughs> love broke through is by Toby Mac, by the way. And also, Mara Jade will become one of the strongest fighters in the Jedi Academy and in the wars that would follow. Unfortunately, when the Jedi Academy was attacked by Jason, she sacrificed her life to protect the Jedi. So Mara Jade's sacrifice would be the main thing that keeps the Resistance going. It did shake up her husband, Luke Skywalker, but he would use his grief to pass time and also train himself to be stronger. Number four, Admiral Akbar. Oh, uh, yeah. Admiral exactly. Akbar is another character that basically would help command some of the troops and also fighters in the resistance. Not get killed off in Last Jedi! Plus, he's so much better than Captain or Ad Admiral Holdo, or Lieutenant Holdo, wherever they call her. But to point something out, I will say this, he's not going to get killed off. I'm just going to Thank say that God. right off the bat. He will still be a key character for the Resistance and yes. the Rebels. And he should have been and kept a key character. And it's safe to say that character. he is an underrated character that deserves a lot more screen time and a lot more background. But hey, he's a minor character, but yeah, he's a key character that would help people understand how hard it is to get out there into the world of the Resistance and the Galaxy. Yeah. And also understands the responsibility the galaxy laid upon him whenever he leads certain areas of the army. So Amor Akbar is another character that I believe should be recognized more. Number five, Lando Calrissian. Yeah. Obviously after now Return of the Jedi, he would go back to Cloud City to help lead the people that he once led before the Empire took over. Unfortunately, later on, while he settled down had a son, that ended up backfiring when the First Order attacked, and everything fell apart, and his son got taken away, his wife got killed, so he had to flee. Lando, however, did not want to forget what he did against the Empire, and basically saved the Rebels and led them on a space battle on the second Death Star. So it's safe to say, though, that instead of him just getting found in the Rise of Skywalker, he would be found much early on and basically come back to the Resistance to help them against the First Order because he knew that if he didn't do something or if no one steps up, the Resistance is basically doomed. Even yeah. some of the most elite fighters, they have to stick together and stand together so they could be able to fight back as hard as that is. So basically, Lando Calrissian is basically underrated, again, as I said before, and also, he and Han will continue their bond as best friends, as well as make sure they have short talks and gamble and have fun. Even when the tragedy of Jason Solo becoming Kylo Ren, they basically still kept in touch, in a way, even yeah. to the point of the Millennium Falcon getting taken away. But anyway, that is basically Lando as a key character, yeah. basically. So in conclusion, all these characters that I have mentioned will be key factors to the Resistance. So this will probably be yes. the Resistance side, except for Captain Phasma. Four out of the five, which is 80%, will be part of the Resistance. Captain Phasma will remain with the First Order yeah. until death. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, support me on Patreon, or donate through PayPal, and I will see you guys in the next video. God bless. You rock. Don't forget it. All right. Well, so that was me checking out if I directed Disney Star Wars Episode Six. Well, AJ Markles, if I directed Disney Star Wars Episode Six, just to clarify, and that was the five key characters part one because well, this is a two-parter episode, so technically, as I mentioned, Episode Seven is going to be part two. And anyway, he mentioned so many good points. About so many characters, like especially Admiral Akbar. He's <laughs> Plus, they should have kept him instead of that stupid character that was Lieutenant Holdo, who base and where they basically ruined the concept of hyperspace with her death. But anyway, 
enough about that. Thank you all. That'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this and want to see more, then don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120.